Hello, I'm Dino Veland, a developer on the Python Tools team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Django website, configure MySQL on Azure, and deploy the website to Azure websites. So first, I'll start off by creating a new project. I'll select File, and then New Project. And you can see that I have a number of Python options to choose from. Because I've installed the Python samples package, I also have these additional samples available. And so I'll select the Pools Django web project. Click OK, and the project will start being created. I get our standard prompt to install either into a virtual environment or install into Python 3.4 or follow up and install the packages by myself. And I'll just go ahead and create a new virtual environment and install the packages into that. I can give the virtual environment a name and choose a base, base Python version to install from. I'll just accept the defaults here. Next, I need to synchronize my database. I get instructions on screen here that are pretty helpful that tell me exactly what I need to do. So I'll open Solution Explorer here, and I will right click on my project. There's a nice Python menu, and under that is Django SyncDB, which I'll select. This brings up the Python interactive window where I see the Django SyncDB command is running. So I'll just go through the prompts here. And use a super secure password. And now I've completed the Django SyncDB. At this point, I can run the app. So I'll just click on the play button or I could press F5. And the app will launch along with my web browser. Here you can see I'm in the default app. I can click Create Sample Polls. log in with the account I created before. So I can vote on the polls now. And you can see the basic app is now running and working. Next, I'm going to create a MySQL database on Windows Azure. So first, I'll go to the Windows Azure Management Portal and sign in. So here I am in the Microsoft Azure Portal. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the New button. I'll click on New and select Marketplace. And this lets me select a number of different applications and services that are available. I'm just going to scroll down to ClearDB MySQL Database, click Next, select Free, and give this a name, click Next, and confirm my free purchase. Once my database is cre created, I can click on Connection Info to get my connection strings. Next, I'm going to switch back to PTVS, where I'm going to install the MySQL client. So here I have my virtual environment, and I can right-click on it and choose Install Python Package. I'll just type in MySQL Client and click OK. And this will use pip to install MySQL. Once the package is installed, I can go to my settings.py file and configure my database to use it. So at this point, I'm going to copy my connection string into my settings.py file. I'll pull the entire connection string over here and take the database name and put it in the name field. 
take the machine name and put it in host. Take the user ID and put it there, and the password. Finally, I'll change the engine to be MySQL. Now I can go back to Solution Explorer, right click on my project again, choose Python, and rerun Django SyncDB. You can see it runs again, but this time it's running against the database that's hosted in the cloud. Once again, I answer a few questions. Give my super secure password. And the SyncDB is done. Now I can run again. I'll hit F5, which will again launch it on my local system and bring up the browser. You can see, once again, we have no polls available because we're running against a new database. So I'll create the sample polls, logging in to do so. Once the sample polls are created, I can answer them. And you can see that my app is now working, but this time talking to the database in the cloud. So finally, I'm going to take my application and deploy it to Windows Azure websites. So I'll right click on my project again and choose Publish. Choose Microsoft Azure websites. and choose to create a new website. I'll select a region and click Create. Now I just need to press Publish. Here you can see in the bottom left hand corner that the publish has started and all of my files are being collected from my project and my virtual environment and will be deployed to Windows Azure websites. Once the deployment is completed, my browser will open and we can see that I'll be running on the cloud. So here you can see I've launched my browser and the URL is at azurewebsites.net now. But my questions are still here and I don't have to pre-create the sample questions this time because we're running against the same database as we did when we ran locally. So here I can go in and vote again and we can also see my previous votes are there as well. Thanks for watching. You can get PTVS or watch the other videos in this series from the links below.